Well, hello everybody, this is Frogman, and welcome back to Levitated. Uh, we got Enderman falling from the ceiling. Yeah, it's the way it always works in this base. Uh, last episode, I do believe we had a bit of fun working towards getting some more of the Tech Reborn machines up and going. We got both of those two built, the Assembly Machine and the Industrial Electrolyzer. And I have since kind of fiddled around with those. I figure we can talk about those for just a second before we catch up on everything else. So the uh, Assembly Machine, pretty simple. I think we might have done this already. We already just kind of hooked all those parts up. The Electrolyzer is going to be a little bit more of a pain in the butt because of the fact that it has multiple inputs and for the life of me i can't figure out how to do anything other than uh externally automate this to be able to make sure that it doesn't put the wrong thing in the wrong slot so what i did do is i took an interface and i stuck an interface over here and the interface is just basically delivering things from here into there and if we have any mechanical machine that we need to be able to make uh, I love that thing. We got to make cakes and we got to do things. But anyhow, we've kind of got it automated now so that we have uh, item conduits that are pulling things out of the interface and putting them into the machine in the correct order. Anything that gets immediately drug out of here, like say this bauxite dust that we have to play with or the empty cells, they're being delivered into this chest where they can then be delivered into the sides or wherever they need to go. And if we need any recipes, we can for sure put recipes there, which will then place things in the box. And then this thing will automatically pull them out of the box and do things. So I was kind Kind of working through a little bit of the bauxite or at least the aluminum just because of the fact we had quite a bit of aluminum and i think i'll put this in a chest for right now in case we don't need it in our way we're probably going to have to make another one of those eventually so it is kind of one of those things that we're going to have to play with so i did go ahead and do a little bit here i don't remember if i said this or not on the last one we went ahead and hooked up some automatic lubricators to the back of the crushers just so we could speed them up by it's a percent and a half i think or forget what exactly what the number is but they kind of just sip a little bit on the plant oil that we're no longer needing up here um i think it's this one this one yeah right here they're just kind of sipping on that for the moment and we're doing a few other things so i did do a bit of upgrading and the reason why i said no longer needing is um we now have a tier five solar array and a tier five solar array makes more than the current stack of stuff we have down there can run um actually i need to make sure we put a couple of torches up here because i don't need those knuckleheads spawning on my platform uh this thing i think makes 300 some odd thousand rf a tick if i recall correctly so let's go ahead and put this away put this on here i just want to make sure they're not spawning on anything so technically any of our current um <laughs> like the the reason why i have this or this or any of the other stuff that's down there we now have a uh, pretty much floor of more than what floor for rf generation of more than what this thing can actually input and output i think like i said it's like 300 and some odd thousand rf a tick or at least whatever it is because of where it is located and because of the fact that we are where we are so that's pretty cool um we don't have to worry about this. Like I said, I'm just going to leave it again. We may need it eventually. Uh, some of these other things, if we need to suddenly spur up some power, we can spur up some power. <laughs> it, that's going to last us for quite a while. So the other thing is, look that way. Okay, this has now been upgraded to a Tier 5. And the Tier 5, it uses a decent amount of RF a tick, or at least it says it uses about that much. much it's, it's much, 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 much more than that. It's currently off. So the reason why it's off is because it works faster than the uh, <laughs> the crushers up there can keep up with. So, yeah, there we go. That's what we were kind of waiting on. Bloop, 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 It works pretty good. So, uh, and it uses almost 10,000 RF a tick to continuously do things. So, it's pretty cool. I have not done any more upgrading on it, and I think, like we say, we're probably going to get it to the last version and then stick it full of speed modifier as far as they need to go and lug modifiers and then just turn it on as we need it. These things are monstrous. They're they're ridiculously good for making lots and lots and lots of materials. Like I said, to the point that it these three processing these these three crushers can't keep up with it anymore. So I think as far as that goes, the only thing that changed is that we do had had to add another stack of molecular assemblers in because of the fact we ran out of spots or almost ran out of spots. So I now have a decent amount of room. I didn't go back and organize anything. It's just kind of a mess, but we do have a little bit more space to kind of play around with. So as we have been working on, 
in the last few episodes, hit the correct button for this mod pack, sir. We need to work through these lines. We need to get up into this mess so that we can start being able to automate the steady structures, so or the machine structures for advanced rocketry, so that we can leave this planet. Now, the only again, the only way we're going to get those things is through a process which is going to be behind most of the stuff that we have to play with through Tech Reborn. So, to refresh again, can I hit R on that? No, I can't. Steady structure, machine structure, machine structure, which is that block right there, which again is pretty much the nuts and bolts and screws of everything in advanced rocketry requires highly advanced machine frames highly advanced machine frames require titanium plates which require chrome plates which also require all of this stuff which i believe we automated these last episode or at least somewhat so now we're looking at being able to produce chrome and titanium chrome well, chrome, I believe, is something that we're going to make an industrial blast furnace. But first off, we need to be able to get the dust. And to get the dust, that is where this industrial electrolyzer comes in, where we take ruby dust. We grind, well, we take rubies, we grind up rubies. We then run them through that industrial electrolyzer and we get chrome dust or aluminum dust. Or we can take, uh, yeah, whatever this is which is an industrial centrifuge, which is yellow garnets, which I don't know if we have access to yet. I have not found any yellow garnets, so I'm assuming that it requires something of something of something. Uh, I haven't seen them yet. Let me let me do the little bitty thing here. Yellow. Let me see. Garnet. Garnet or garnet, 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 garnet. It's not even showing me any kind of dust, so this is all this kinds of things. And this is this kind of things, and this is this kind of things. There may be a way to do it. However, we're not going to worry about it right now. What we're going to look at worrying about is Chrome. So Chrome is simple. At this point, Chrome is just doing the industrial electrolyzer of taking a bunch of ruby dust. And of course, ruby dust, we can either craft using an industrial centrifuge, using redstone and an empty cell, which will give us all of this kind of stuff. Or we can just crush the rubies that we currently have. I don't know how many of thousand of them so we'll just do that and you guys can go to work and that'll make a bunch of ruby dust that we can then run through that thing so let's see i want to do this ruby dust so we'll just go ahead and just stick that in the box up here and you can do this, and I want to make sure this doesn't exist in there. So that should be told. Get out of there. I need to tell that to go in where. Sorry for the noise. Uh, up. How was I doing this? Oh, it's up here. Uh, yeah, it's up here. There we go. Do that. There we go. So that should put that in there, and then we should be starting to process this kind of stuff. Holy cow, at the la the. I turned it up because I thought it would be fun. Let's turn it back down. Thank you. Sorry for all the noise. And now we're going to be making a few things. So in here, you'll notice that we did a couple of things. I am extracting all of the parts of the stuff out the back and putting it into immediately into the uh, interface back here. Those air cells are getting put into this extractor, which is immediately just emptying them and then putting them back into the system. We don't need them right now. We don't care. So pretty much that's what we're going to worry about for the majority of what's going on. So we got some Ruby stuff. Ruby dust gets us chrome. So now chrome, this needs to be industrial blast furnace or arc furnace. Excellent. So I, I'm going to try to stay away from the industrial blast furnace. I don't absolutely know if we need to worry about it right now, but we're going to try. So this should extract anything that goes into here that I need to go into. And you need to be told this because that metal, that makes metal ingot won't work in there. And if I do a this... 
should pull that out, put it in there, put it over here, and drop it into that, I think. Or did I tell this, did I give this a filter? I did. Why did I give this a filter? Because I don't want it to do stupid things. All right, so that'll go into there, because that's the only way we can deal with the iridium as well. So that will start processing all of those for us. Not that we're going to have a whole lot that it's going to need to process, but that'll do the work for us for the moment. Uh, again, I don't care about the, the, the electrodes. We can make those all day long. I'm going to go ahead and put this in where? Where did I put it? Up there. We're going to have to kind of babysit that to make sure that we don't get a few things. But with that, now I should be able to actually create that plate model. And then we can work on titanium plates. So let's see. Chrome. Chrome plates are... Click the right button. A processing thing. That works fine. Give me this, and then we'll put that in. And that's something I'm probably going to end up doing once we get to that point, too, is we're going to be getting rid of all of those plate, or the plate press up there is going to be going to anything that we can convert over advanced rocketry when we get to it. When we can, we're going to be converting over to it because certain things are just incredibly slow. So plate machine. That's the last one. Beautiful. Is there anything so we don't need to have it in here? No, I may have to hook up this uh, compactor, that dude, to do some stuff as well. But that means we can now craft three out of the four parts that we need for that thing, which means the last thing I think I need to worry about is a titanium plate, which we should have lots of titanium, or at least a decent amount of titanium, which is going to be that, which is going to be this. Click, go. Thank you. Um, I guess, where did those go? Come back here. There we go. What's in here we don't need? Steel plates, gold plates, refined steel, electrum, aluminum. I need all of those, don't I? What's a steel plate need to be? Steel plates are just the, hmm, hang on a minute. Uh, did we end up updating this? I kind of felt like I did. This only needs a gear working die to make that work. Let's make another interface for that dude. We're going to kind of split those up for the minute. Uh, interface, integer face, interface, craft one of those, please. And then we're going to move all that over there. So I guess what we can do now is we can also make the machine frame, which is the highly advanced machine frame, which again, I need to get off the processing pattern. This Everything in there we should be able to craft, I believe, if I am not mistaken, which means we can start building. We'll put you right there. That should be a clean line with nothing in it. Beautiful. Uh, interface. Did you craft your interface? Good. Let's grab a few of these. The Let's just try to segregate the ones that we just made out. I know that might make it a little slower. Um, because we're not going to make those very often. I'll leave that one over there, and I think we'll just deal with the fact that that's going to suck. Uh, put that down. You need an interface accepting from the top. You exhaust out the bottom. Did you get another one of these in you? I may just go ahead and update that thing to this highest point that I can. I think that was what I was working on when I gave up in between episodes was working on the blizz stuff which i think yeah we could do that if we felt like it i don't know if i even have a fluid transposer at this point but we'll leave it alone it's not asking us to make it i'm not going to worry about it for the moment let's see it make one i want one is everything there doable to craft? Yes. So every bit of this should function. Go. How are we going to work? We're going to kind of watch this for just a second. That's not terrible. What was that going to? It was going to titanium and then the next one. Those aren't bad. That's actually fast enough for me. That's fine. So it's going to unfortunately make the wrong ones first, but I guess it's just making things as they come in. So then carbon bricks, they'll make those done, done, and done. I suppose I could probably just push out the top. That might make it a little faster. And then do that anyway, and that'll make it just slightly faster. 
Yay, highly advanced machine frame usage on you, my friend, this superconductor. Those are kind of cool. And advanced machine frame casings, distillation towers, matter fabricators, which I will play. We'll probably build this, but I don't know how much of it we're going to actually use. Um, quantum chest, cool. And, of course, 16 machine structure blocks, which means I can now build some of the stuff that I want to build in advanced Rocketry, like rolling machines and lathes. So a rolling machine, for what this is worth, is going to make all of our plates for us. And it's going to take 50. I love this mod because it's a lot of fun to kind of screw around with. It's going to take about 200 RF a tick to make a single plate with a little bit of water or any of these other things on a single plate with these, uh, these iron sheets, which I believe we're going to make other things out of. But we can make our plates with this using 20 RF a tick on a little bit of water and one second. Now, this can be made faster by using better parts inside the machines, which is one of the reasons why I really enjoy Advanced Rocketry's machines. We are not going to play with that today. We may look at it in the next episode because I want to continue on. We need to be able to make a... can give you an implosion, just a craft and implosion compressor. Why, why, why... It, why would I do that? What are we doing that for? We read. Let us read. What do we make with you? Why would I... What am I going to make with this? What are you going to make me make with that? Uh, in Iridium or Forestone, what are you going to make me make with this? Hard parts, interdimensional SUs, Dragon Age Sentence, Energy Siphon, Energy Flow Conduits, oh, and some of this other stuff. Okay, we'll fool around with all that later on. That's something we don't necessarily need to make. Let's make something that's actually going to do something for us. Industrial Blast Furnace is going to be something we want to look at because that's going to be pretty simply easy or the way to make um, steel, I believe. It's actually in the point that I want to work at. So I think we're going to try to – let's see if we can't get an industrial – speak Industrial Blast Furnace up and running today. So Industrial Blast Furnace, Central Fuge. I probably should make one of these too. Didn't we make one of these already? I don't know. Uh, we're going to hit this and this is that one where I have to remember what else this needs. Um, because I do believe there's a couple of other things we're going to need along with that, but let's go ahead and get this cracking out right now. Cooper nickel, uh, you sucker. I guess we got to make a rolling machine, rolling machine, rolling machine, rolling machine, a compressor, 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 compressor. So I need what? Two. Um, do this. Can I do that right there? Compressor and that and that and that will make a rolling machine. So we need two compressors, one machine frame. Well, let me see two compressors and then a ba uh, do it. Compressor. Compressor, machine frame. Machine frame times like three, I think. One, two, three. Compressor is going to be something like that. One. And then I need to make, what was that? Uh, two more of those or one more of those. Let that run a second. Next. They're actually pretty quick. Now that I filled those machines up full of speed upgrades or overclocker upgrades. Um, recipe on you. Hey, let me have this go. Two compressors. So that needs a rolling machine, which is going to be two more of those and four pistons. So um, I thought that was going to be a basic machine frame. I th Okay, that's what I thought. So t four pistons. One, two, three, four. I know those are in the system. No big deal. And then two advanced circuits. Two. And that's going to take a couple of seconds. 
All righty then. I think that was everybody. All right. Advanced circuit times you. You, sir, get to come up here and join the fun. This is a rolling machine that we're going to probably use for one project. So let's see. I'm going to put you right here. And you get to do what? Where is the button that shows me what you make? You make weighted pressure plates, tripwire hooks, buckets, magnolum plates, which I don't think we need, uh, canthenol heat coils. I'm not even going to try to pronounce half of this stuff. Empty cells, that's fine. I don't think we're ever going to need any more of those for the moment. So basically, I'm going to just feed this thing a little bit of Cooper nickel. Uh, nickel and copper, and we're going to make a few of those things. So let's go grab a little bit of that. Um, we'll make two sets of it. It's amazing how annoying that bucket thingy is. That's going to make something cool. Give me all of your stuff because we don't need those in there for right now. You finished all of those up nicely. Thank you. Good deal. Put those back over here because I made them specifically for another deal. All right. And then finally, well, and then finally, not even close to then finally, probably industrial blast furnace is going to need two more electric furnaces, which I think these are fairly simple, easy to make. So, um, one, two, is it one per? One per plus an electric circuit. So I must already have some. Oh, yeah, we do have some in there. I tested something out. Back to being this again, two more of those. Okay, electric furnace number one, electric furnace number two. Blast furnaces go like so, so we need advanced machine frame and two of these, two of those. Next, start and advanced and advanced, advanced that one. Next, start, and then we'll let that all run for a second. Okay, I think it should be ready to go by now, hopefully. So blast furnace. I don't know why I keep doing that. It's sitting right there. We should have all the parts pieces that we need to be able to make the industrial blast furnace thing. Now, if I recall correctly, this thing needs a multi-block structure. which is going to tell me exactly what I need to be able to make all of this stuff. I forget exactly if the inside is hollow. Now, it used to be that you had to fill these things with... Um, but lava, I don't know if that's still the case or not. It's been a long time. Let's, I mean, does it tell me what it's supposed to do? Anyhow, we need to do whatever those are. And then I think we can upgrade those machine blocks. I have, it's been a good little bit since I, I couldn't even tell you when the last time it was I played with Tech Reborn as far as actual mod packs and things go where are the actual things that i'm looking for it's not these it's machine frame reinforced machine casings can we make those right now standard machine casing let's do this machine casing I want to take it up to as high as we can go. So I don't know if we can do these. See, that's where these chrome plates, data control circuits, and iridium data storage cells, emerald plates, compressors, things. I think we could probably make that if we tried. Let's see about getting to, I mean, heck, I, I don't even know if it's one of those things. Let's look and see what we can actually make with this thing. So if I recall correctly, the, the heat is where the problem comes in. So, silver ingot, lead ingot, galena. What are we needing this for? Why are, why, why are we making this? Because I don't think I can make steel on that thing, can I? Uh, steel ingots, industrial blast furnace. Yes, so we can, but we have to do this recipe. So that other recipe may be something that we're going to do in dark ashes. Uh, ashes. This is one of those lines of things that I don't really care about. We're not going to worry about it. Um, do we really, 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 really need to build anything more than those for this? Hang on a minute. I'm going to do some looking through the JEI and see what comes up. Oh. 
Oh, that's where that comes in. That's where that comes in. That calcium carbonate cell with the distilled water and the slag. Okay, plus refined steel. That's where this comes in. That's how the easier way of making that. And then the hot tunk steel ingots, which I believe you need to cool into this, into that, which is something else. I'm getting, I'm getting, you're getting sidetracked. I think, right. So I believe that recipe is not very hot though. Thousand heat or calcium carbonate cell. And I think we can do that in the basic, but let's see if we can go ahead and make the intermediate ones. So machine frames, we need to make a bunch of these. We get four if we use that. How many do we need? Nine, 18. My math and my brain is not functioning currently. So what is that? 34, 36, 34, 34, 34. Okay, let's go make a few of those. We'll get those set up. Doesn't really matter at this point. So machine, machine, machine casings. We'll make those since those seem to be reasonably decent. And I think all I should need to do is those are steel plates. So we needed those as well. Cool. And the other ones that's going to require a whole bunch of stuff to set up. I'll probably just craft those if we need to craft them offline. Not here doing things and stuff. So we need to a few of those. Hello, game. And then we can stick this upstairs. Actually, we might have to find a room for it. 34. I figured that much. That's fine. Let's see. I need some of this. And refined steel. What is it? I forget what it's called. Refined steel is in here with some coke dust. I probably don't have any coke dust. Yeah, well, let's craft a bunch of that. And we'll get back with this. Okay, let's give that a try again. Should have plenty of stuff now. Everybody looks good. That's going to be one of those nice long crafts. Got a whole bunch of bricks to make and a whole bunch of plates to make and a whole bunch of circuits to make and a whole bunch of other stuff to make and a bunch of pretty lights probably flashing up here. Maybe. Anyhow, I will be back with you guys once that all gets crafted and then we're going to find a place to put this thing. And I had to make that stupid wrench because I thought it was necessary. Love it. Oh, crap. Alrighty then, looks like everything is done. Let's see what we got. A uh, machine. Well, you made 36 of them, and I kind of figured you were going to make 36 because it probably makes one too many as the way it goes. So let's see if we've got enough height here. I believe I can do this, and I hope this is just short and a good deal. Okay, cool. Uh, it's going to be probably a little bit of fun. I don't even know if you're supposed to... used to be able to just... I don't know. It's been a minute. We're going to build this struct multi block structure here. And I think, if I recall correctly, we have to put lava in it. Maybe. I don't know. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've used one of these. Where are you? Thank you. For right now, you can just sit there and be quiet. I don't need all that milk. So we're going to fill this all up. With where it says to be. And what do you say now? So. Cool. All I got to do is plug some power into you then. All right. Um, Where's my box? Do we have any stuff left in here? Or I got to go get some. I have three whole pieces of stuff. That's probably nowhere near. It. You know what? The heck with it. There should be one in here, right? Or did I already use it on something else? I keep using these stinking things. Give me, see if we got any more conduiting. I don't. Go ahead and craft some more. Go ahead and craft some more. Do I not have any of this? Oh, great. That's wonderful. <sighs> nope, I'm out. Great, wonderful. 
Make a bunch. Go. That should do it. I just need a little bit of power. I know it says a lot of power. I think it's just time over period. So let's just go ahead and do something like this. That should fill you up with power. Uh, input rate 500 and FE a tick. Manage each to blow whatever. We'll deal with that as we get to it. Uh, probably will be stealing some of our overclocking upgrades to go in this very rather ugly machine that you know you could at least make it do something cool like one of those do over there when they do things but hey who cares i'm the only one here doing this kind of stuff okay with that guy that thing is don't 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 do that put that away that's going to make it easier on us to be able to make the the steel that we're currently playing around with the problem is that means i'm going to have to start collecting iron ore which i'm not collecting iron ore because if we look at this recipe here, the recipe is ore, and I'm not keeping the ore. So I will have to start accepting a certain amount of that ore to be able to do a few things. So I think for now, ladies and gentlemen, we got that part done. We're going to look at the little bit of the line here. We're going to have to make this just to make this just to make this. Uh, we did say something about us having to get in and what did I have to do platinum for example was something that we needed so in order to be able to get to platinum and that's going to be the major hassle we didn't look at it last night last time so we can look at it right now in order to get to I think it's platinum dust correct we need to be able to take whatever that is and whatever this is which should be industrial electrolyzers with the ender dust and emerald dust. And that makes a few more of these cells that we don't really need with some of this, which is tungsten dust, which we can definitely get a hold of tungsten because we have plenty of tungsten. And you stick both of those together inside a, where is it? Not the centrifuge, this into a fusion control computer, a fusion reaction system, stick both of those two together and result is platinum dust. I'm assuming. So, that's just so that we can make enough platinum for a couple of rocket engines so we can get off the general area where we are to be able to build a space station so that we can then move on. So I guess for right now, I'm going to give it up here. We've got a couple of more machines done. We've got another one of the uh, industrial foregoing machines going. So we've got our bl industrial blast formats furnace set up and running. I may have to upgrade this to the full tier. And again, I think you can put lava in the thing. I forget exactly. I'll have to look it up on the wiki. Don't need to worry about it for right now. We'll play with it later. So I think for now, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. I We're just going to continue on down this line as far as making more t tech reborn machines and possibly touching on getting into the first couple of machines from advanced rocketry that we're going to be looking at. So see you guys later. Bye.